Here's a quick overview of the Scratch and Win demo that we uh, put together during the beta. And it was just a way to kind of play with storylines, variables, and uh, drag and drop options to see what other types of triggers and events we could uh, trigger just by combining uh, multiple triggers. So the whole thing works by rolling over this quarter, and you can see the change in state. And then as we drag the quarter over each of these sort of uh, game cards, it starts to reveal a sort of a hidden image below. And you can see up top, we actually have some variables right here. What these variables are doing for us, this is the second one, is counting how many times I take this quarter to move over each object. So this third one you see says zero. And as I drag over it once, you see it counts up here to one, drag over again, it's two and three. So I'm using the variable to count how many times I've moved over it. And then each time, while I'm counting it, I'm also evaluating that and telling this graphic object to change states each time it's dragged over. Now, once all four, all three of these states are showing this red final state, you actually hear some uh, applause music. Uh, there's some congratulatory uh, music and audio playing. So the quarter itself, really simple to, well, it's probably just one opt. I think it's just one quarter that I scaled horizontally to get the effect. So I use the hover, so it immediately in, 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 um, instructs the learner that this is actually an object to drag. So as soon as you move your cursor over it, you get the hover state, and then it remains in that state while you're uh, dragging it around. Three hot spots. I'm using the hot spots here to evaluate it. So I'm dragging the quarter over the hot spot, and then the real kind of the, so the real effect comes from each of these cover graphics. If I move the cover graphic out out of here you can see the hidden image is right there. So the hidden image is actually below them. I could have put the hidden image inside of the states and maybe that's a good way to do it as well. But uh, the way I set this up anyway is just to put the hidden image back here as part of the background. So we're using the quarter, it drags over the hot spot, and then each of these uh, graphics right here will change states. You can see the little level of, of, of transparency here. So this one has a little bit more transparency. If I go to the third pass, you can see it has a lot more. And so I just took uh, in Photoshop, it just kind of uh, scratched off or used the eraser tool to kind of blur part of this each time, or not blur it, but just actually remove some of the image. So it kind of gives me that grungy, scratchy look for the transparency. Um, and then the final pass would be this red outline. Now, the way I change this, right, The way I change it is I use variables. I, I need to count, right? I don't want to just go over this once to reveal everything. I mean, you certainly could, but that doesn't really kind of create that scratch off effect, kind of with like an on off effect. So I want to count how many times I drag the quarter over the hotspot. And that's what I need a variable for. And you can see my three variable references right here. These references just tell me or help me uh, see the count and see how many times the variable is actually being activated. The real work is coming from over here. In the project variables, I created three variables, A, B, and C, for each of the, the scratch-offs, right? So there's three, three game pieces that you have to scratch over. So I just created a number variable for each one of those. I want to count separately how many times that each of these, the quarters dragged over each of those. And then the simple triggers would be add one. So each time I drag the quarter over, say, this first one, I'm going to add one to that A drag. So A drag just is that first variable. Add one each time it's dragged over that hotspot. So if I drag it over two times, that would be two, right? But I'm adding one each time. Kind of here. Add one to the B drag, same thing here, right? The quarter's dragged once over this hotspot. Add one to B drag when it goes over the B hotspot. And the same for C. Now, what I'm going to do, the way we count this, is we change the state of that star graphic. So let me just select star. Change the state of the A star, so that first star. Oh, it's gonna keep selecting the quarter. So here's my states, and then I, 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 when I select this, it says change the state of A star to the first pass, and then here's the three passes I have, right, when it equals one. Change star to one pass when it's dragged over, if it equals one. And remember, this one comes from I add one to A drag each time it's dragged over, the quarter's dragged over the hotspot. 
So the first time I do it, it's going to be equal to 1, and it's going to show me that first pass. Here's the one right below it. Change that A star graphic to the second level, or the second pass, when A drag is equal to 2. So each time I drag the quarter over, and you can see this is why I have that reference up here, right? The default value is 0, but each time I drag this over, you can see it's now at 1. Come back down. Right now it's at two, go back up, it's at three, and it's at four. So it's just a value. And if this va if this equals one, change this star to uh, one pass. If this equals to two, change it to two pass. Equals to three, three pass, and then four, change it to the final. And so you have to do that for every one. So you get quite a quite a few triggers. But the really neat thing is that you only have to start with one. Right when I first started with this, I just had one card. And I just said add one to zero, and then I said change start, change the uh, the state of star to one, when it equal when the value variable is equal to one, and that's it. I had two variables, and then I just duplicated this, and then changed it to two, and made another pass, another pass. So even though it looks like it's a lot of very a lot of triggers right here, it really all just starts with one trigger, and then you duplicate it and you make a slight change, just to uh, progressively change the uh, state of this object. So hope that's helpful. Any questions, certainly just post them in the forum. Be more than happy to help you customize this interaction or build something similar for your own needs.